We're back here on UFC Live. Earlier Friday, we saw the official weigh-ins over on ESPN+. Plus. The champ, Stipe Miocic, is coming in at 234 pounds, which was 12 pounds lighter than the first time he faced Francis Ngannou. And the contender comes in at 263, which is the exact same weight three years ago when he fought Miocic for the title the very first time. All right, let's bring in Chael and Michael Bisping back to the conversation. Chael, let me start with you. 29 point, or excuse me, 29 pound discrepancy here between Nganu and Miocic. What do you make of Stipe coming in at 234? Look, in fairness, we're probably splitting hairs here, okay? In the heavyweight division, Stipe's used to this. You have size discrepancies, but numbers don't lie, and there's a reason that the champ weighs less. I'd like to know what that is. It's calories in versus calories out, guys. Has he gotten a different nutritional plan, or is he getting up he's putting more miles in? He's on the jump rope a little longer. He's sticking around, hitting pads a little bit harder. For some reason, a guy that already looked like he was carved out of stone is now even a little bit more chiseled. That's going to make him a little bit faster. It's also going to make the takedowns a little bit harder. It's going to make keeping Francis down a little bit harder. Fully admit, I'm splitting hairs, but that's what it means. All right, Mike, let me ask you about Nganu, though, because his weight is the same, but how he's carrying it is not quite the same. As we show the fans at home, a picture between 263 today and 263 three years ago. Yeah, well, of course, you can't always judge a book by its cover, right? We know this. But still, if you look at those pictures, it does look like Ngannou is coming into this one a little leaner, which, of course, he has to do. If you're leaner, that would say to me that you've been doing more miles. Like Chell just said, you've been doing the cardio, doing the conditioning. Because we know for a fact in the first fight, conditioning was a factor as to why Francis Ngannou lost. He started the fight very, very well. But as the fight progressed, he slowed down. He got more tired and more tired, and the fight became easier and easier for Stipe Miocic to win. So I think that's why this time we're seeing a little bit of a difference in the physique. All right, well, let's get to our fantasy picks brought to you by DraftKings. We're going to keep it on the main event here at UFC 260. Chell, we'll start with you. Who walks out with that championship belt Saturday night? Francis Ngannou is still going to be the number one contender. Stipe Miocic <laughs> is going to be the champion, though, and it's going to be once again. Look, I've just seen the fight already. It's one of these things I feel like I don't have to guess all that much. I saw the same guys do the same thing in the same weight class. I saw it a few years ago, and I have seen nothing since then to make believe that uh, Stipe has gone down or that Francis has gone up. I think you've got the right two guys, but the order isn't going to change. Mike? Yeah, listen, I've got to agree with uh, Chael there. Stipe Miocic and still, I believe he gets the job done. I think the stat is in 88% of fights in rematches in title fights, the champion wins. Why is that? Well, that's because that is, he is the better fighter. Stipe Miocic has more ways to win. I believe Stipe coming into this fight lighter than the first time will make him a little bit faster. He knows he can't match Ngannou for power, but he can beat him in speed and with the wrestling. I feel like it's going to look a lot like the first fight. However, I wouldn't be surprised if Ngannou takes his head off clean and leaves him unconscious. That is a possibility. But as I say, <laughs> steep Miocic and still. All right, so it went the distance the first time out. So, Mike, are, are you expecting if Stipe wins, it has to go the distance again? Yeah, for sure. I, well, 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 no, in fact, no, I don't. I think maybe Stipe Miocic, because as great a champion that he is, he's still somewhat overlooked, and he feels that he doesn't get the respect. How is he going to get that respect? Well, he's going to go out there, and he's going to finish Francis Ngannou. I'd say he takes him down repeatedly, and in the fourth round, puts him out with elbows. Jail, what do you see? Finish or decision? Yeah. You know what? I think that it's going to go likely to a finish, and it's going to be in those championship rounds. Stipe is going to be busy with the ground and pound and a little bit busier than he was the first time. I think he's going to get a stoppage. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.